20 or 25 years from now are going to be coming from. And uh, that's why posters are, are so important because they give, us, uh, they give us a sign of hope. So with that said, I want to again also thank Tina Bell and her team at AlphaMed Press. Uh, without, without Tina's efforts on, on the poster session, this would not have happened. I want to, uh, I want to thank Josh at, at Wake Forest because Josh too put a lot of time into preparing for this year's poster presentation and he deserves a lot of thanks. Uh, I want to thank all of the poster authors for, for participating and, and most of all, I want to thank you all. I want to thank the participants at the summit because uh, your viewing the posters, your discussing with the authors, their work is, is a very significant part of what a poster session is all about, so thank you all. Uh, with that said, there were, there were three finalists this year and uh, the, the titles of the, of the posters are up there. So, Intravenous Administration of Mesenchymal Stem Cells to Enhance Bone Allograft Incorporation in Mice. Not humans, but in mice, but that's where so much begins. Then, second, second title, Novel Human-Induced Pluripotent Stem Cells for Hematopoietic Toxicity Identifies Compounds and Inhibiting Endothelium to Hematopoietic Transition in Vitro. And the third title, Perinatal Stem Cells as an Anti-Inflammatory Therapy for Lung Disease. So those are the three titles. We'll, we'll look a little bit at in, more in depth at each, of, uh, at each of these to see what they were, were doing. So uh, the first, Intravenous Administration of Mesenchymal Stem Cells to Enhance Bone Allograft Incorporation Mice is coming. For, uh, lead author is Zijin Yang from Memorial Hospital in Baltimore. And the hypothesis that Zijun was looking at is that you can use mesenchymal stem cells to support and enhance the success of bone grafts. There are, so, there are many, many millions of bone grafts, I believe, uh, around the world each year. I may, I may be misstating that number, uh, you know, that millions and millions uh, context always uh, captures your mind. I may be misstating that, but in any in any event, uh, the concept is is you can coat a bone graft before before you put the bone graft in place. You can coat it with with uh, molecules that will attract mesenchymal stem cells and as. Arnie Kaplan has shown the world mesenchymal stem cells can, can have curative effect. And by doing this, the hypothesis is that you can enhance the bone graft. And uh, Zijin presented evidence that that is the case. So that's the, the first poster, the first finalist. Uh, next poster is from Irina Elcheva from Pennsylvania State College of Medicine. And what Irina presented is a system for using hematopoietic stem cells and the differentiation, the de development of hematopoietic stem cells as a tool for determining whether a, an array of chemicals are, are toxic. Uh, really, really interesting tool and, and uh, that, that's what Arena covered. And then the the third title is Perinatal Stem Cells is an Anti-Inflammatory Therapy for Lung Disease. Shame on me for not paying more attention to perinatal stem cells. Uh, there's in fact, a, I, in, in doing some homework on, on this poster, I learned that there's a perinatal stem cell society. Shame on me for not knowing that. But in, in any event, the hypothesis here, the hypothesis here is that a disease like cystic fibrosis where the long-term damage, you know, the, so many parts of the body are like paper clips. If you bend them enough over time, they break. You know, that's what high blood pressure does. It, 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 you bend, you put your, your cardiovascular under so much pressure constantly that it's like a paper clip, eventually it breaks. Well, that's what happens in the lungs as well with inflammation and cystic fibrosis. And, and the, the uh, work that, that Uller did at Wake Forest was to determine whether you can use perinatal stem cells 
as a, as a means of fighting that inflammatory process that occurs uh, over two or three decades in the lifetime of a, of a cystic fibrosis patient. So that's what, what uh, Ulla did. And she found, and again, she presented evidence that indeed that hypothesis that you can use perinatal stem cells to, to, as an anti-inflammatory treatment, uh, she presented evidence that that's, that is, is, is the case. So uh, with that said, uh, those, those are our three finalists. The uh, drum roll, can you do that with the? <laughs> so thank you. I, I forgot to program it into the slide. So second runner up, uh, perinatal stem cells is an anti-inflammatory therapy for lung disease. Lead author, Ula Curry. I don't know if, if Ula is, is here or if anyone from her team is here. E emails went out late yesterday, so uh, I'll accept the award on, on Ula's behalf. Uh, Such as yes. Um, first runner up is Irina, and I know Irina is here. Uh, I Irina's work. Uh, so, Irina. <laughs> so, thank you. Uh, the posters are still up, aren't they? So I, I urge you to, to check out all of the posters after this to, to, uh, to take one last look at them. And then the, the winner is the uh, intravenous administration of mesenchymal stem cells to enhance bone graft. And that's uh, Zijin Zhang's work. And I think Zijin is here. So thank you all, and uh, have a, uh, a wonderful day today and tomorrow, and, and thank you for, again, because without you to view those posters, uh, it would be like a tree falling in the forest without anyone to hear it, so thank you.